Well, hello guys, Keisuke here and with a tutorial on how to install Project D mod. So first of all, you want to download Project D 2.0. For that, I will give the link on the description. You'll go to the Air Factor Central site. Well, with the that in Project D 2.31, sorry. First of all, you might download these three here at the bottom, which goes to this. I will of course give the links separately on the description too. So after you download all three of them, you want to extract them using either Vindrar or 7-zip, seven uh, seven sorry. And you'll get this. So you have four folders. The game data, music, RFM and UI data. So I want to clarify something. Uh, on some mods you maybe won't have any music or UI data, but don't panic that UI data and music is nothing which is like needed for a car mod, that's only like, um, how to say, some extra stuff we can say. Music is simply the songs that get played in the background and UI data is like something extra which is for example like the logo or intro video and so on. So so the main files folders you'll need is the game data and RFM. So after you've done that, you simply go to your Air Factor folder. There you go. Then just simply take these, copy, and paste them. Then you simply just merge the folders. Then you just wait. So after you can just for a few seconds that it'll take, you can just like get something to drink or so. So yeah, so after you've done that, you can already go to download the 2.31 on the online drifting.com website. You just download it. It's kind of big, but it makes a uh, it's, it's really huge. It's a big update, so it's normal that it's kind of big. Also, the RX7, the FD, is in, is fixed because it has some bugs online. So, so download that, and after you've downloaded it, you'll get this here. This rare folder, which will open exactly with the same either VinRare or 7-zip. Uh, well. Now it's going to take a bit, don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, as you see, it's 1.45 gigabytes big. It's a big mod because it has a lot of cards as well. So yeah, here we are. PD 2.31 compa compatibility patched. So you just open it. There you go, you have the, full fo uh, the four folders, which you just do the same. You just copy them and just paste them on, on the Air Factor folder and replace the files if needed. You don't keep want to keep the old files, just replace them. It's always better. Then after you have done that, we'll just wait for this to finish. And there's still a lot of let's say add-ons to Project D, which I will show you on other videos. But I'll, I'll already give the links on the description for it, which is like RD add-ons, some small car updates, some other car add-ons, and so on. So now that this is done. We'll just go and do this. There you go, now we'll be extracting. I will have to wait, of course. Come on. I guess we'll just speed this up. Alright, so now that it's finally extract, as you can see it wants to merge again the folders. You just do that for all the items, click on yes, then there we go again with replacing as you see, again, pretty big. Now as you can see here, 1342 conflicts, which means the same files, but just outdated. So just yes, and move and replace. So it will take again, add some time, as you can see. So yeah, so meanwhile, I'll speed this up again. Alright, so it's done. So now, uh, well, if you want, you can of course configure the videos. I have it like this because I usually use it on the on my TV screen. So this is the perfect resolution for it. So yeah, 
so after you have done it, we can go and run Air Factor. So I'll see you right now on Air Factor. All right, so now that we're in fact Air Factor, I just simply go here to the customize player, then the racing series. That's the where the folder Air FM is important because that's the race, racing series file. So I go here and then you have there. It won't change to 2.3, so don't worry about it. It will always be projected 2.0. So now you just press on it, wait a bit, so that it loads all of the cars. Then you just go to vehicle. And be sure to press show all. As you can see, I don't have here any, any because it just shows cars that you bought. So there you have it. If you want to play online, be sh you should buy these ones, who have the PD2 in front of it. So I've seen a lot of cars, so now you just simply buy a car. I'll just get the R42 because I love it. Just buy the car. And there you go. And it just do the scans you want. Just do like something like that, whatever you want. And just go to upgrades and blah blah blah. And after you've done it, you can either just go on testing, race weekend, whatever you want, or just go online with join. So that was it for this tutorial. See you guys in another tutorial. Goodbye.